Welcome back third graders. Today we are going to be birds. We're gonna be birds today. And the one that we're gonna be talking about today are different type of bird beaks. A bird beak. Show me where a beak would be on a bird. We are teaching the kids how living things relate to one another. If we're thinking about the desert, we're able to identify the birds that live in the desert because they have the beaks that are able, that they are able to get food in the desert. Therefore, we won't find a spoonbill in the desert because there's not much water there, there's not pelicans here in our ecosystem, so they're not able to scoop up that fish from the water. My adaptation of a bird beak is this beak. Then I am going to pick up food that is small and tiny. My different adaptation is now my spoon. Hold it up. And I'm going to scoop up my food. Ready, go. We set out a bunch of different trash or food around the classroom and they each have a different utensil that acts as their bird beak. And so that's an activity that I've done in my classroom and therefore I wanted to hopefully transfer that to distance learning a little bit. What is the easiest one to pick up with our smallest bird beak? Um, the paper and the Lego. Something Why? like a bottle lid goes on the sides with the little beak and the spoon, you can grip it from the side or hold it like that. When we talk about which bird beaks are well suited for uh, different types of food. And now we're gonna look at some real life bird beaks. Seagull, woodpecker, spoonbill, crossbill, kiwi, duck, blue jay, pelican, and, uh, and many others, okay? Which beak is most like the tweezers? The woodpecker, because it's straight. Mm-hmm, they are very pointy. Scoop it, scoop it with me. I have seen, I have seen these pelicans and like, like I have seen them like, they always like, they always have like, always carry like, um, always eat a lot of fish and they always go through the ocean. I have learned new knowledge saying that the spoonbill lives near the ocean. It is very cool to see how these kids have adapted and changed just like our bird adaptations and seeing how they are able to adapt to their circumstances and they say, okay, this is obviously not what we have been doing for multiple years, but we're gonna do this, we're gonna make the best of it um, and, and we really are going to be able to continue learning despite our challenges this year.